Come on. All right, today we're talking about a couple quick tips of self-defense when you're carrying a firearm, a knife, whatever it may be. Things to consider. I am not in a place that I want to be. I am not compliant on fighting with this guy. I'm always trying to get away. But number one, right? I need concealment. The moment he recognizes that I have a weapon of any sort, he's going to fixate on that. Todd Fossey, Integrative Defense Strategy, says that really well. My instructor on this, they're going to fixate on that. I have the right to carry it, but he certainly doesn't know if I have good intentions or we just got in a bar fight, whatever it may be. Now he sees that weapon, he's going to fixate on that. So concealment is number one, and then retention, and then retention. So let's just talk about those. Oh, I gave you a knife, but you can just tuck it in or you got shorts on. Look, this fight ended up on the ground. From here, I am going to try working my basic retention. Yes, guys, I am taking a hand out of this fight because I am a fighter with a gun and I need to keep this gun. I don't have justification right now to go for this gun in this simple assault. From here, I would like to do a knee shield, helps hold him off. He's trying to throw punches at me. I'm trying to hold him off and work to a kick, kick, get up, oh, and here, and assess and get yourself out of there. It's a simple assault. I cannot go for that gun. But being down in somebody, being in my guard, open or closed at appendix, that gun is right there, guys. You've got to think about it right now, not later, right? Three o'clock, same thing. It's going to be a pretty easy grab for this guy. And in guard, my shirt might tend to come up a little bit here. So I am thinking across. I am grabbing my belt, and I'm here. And this will tie into if he did see this gun. Boom. Come across and clamp down. Go ahead and grab, grab right from here. And I'm just trying to keep that in the holster. You know, do I have a punch? Lots of things I can start doing here, but I've got to keep it. Retention's number one. You know, am I able to kick them off here? I am trying to also at the same time scrape down, bringing my elbow down and trying to scrape him off. But this can help change his mind, even if he was still on that. I just want it in the holster. That's all I want. I want it in the holster. Um, what can I do here? So a couple things for you guys to consider. If you are carrying day to day, the way you fight has to change. I'm not in a competition. I need to be thinking about my firearm constantly in that fight. And sometimes it does take one hand out of the fight, especially at appendix. At three o'clock, I'm putting that weapon to the ground and I can use the ground for extra retention. So guys, thanks for watching. Suck less, train some more. Before you go, just one quick thing. If you could support our shop or our online training portal, that'd be super awesome. We can keep putting videos out for you guys. You can check out all our apparel at shop.clearsky.training. You can link up from that site to our training direct site, which is clearsky.training. Our home base here is rmsdf.com. You can check out our shop there, shop dot rmsdf.com lots of great apparel out there always taking i get uh, always taking ideas from things that you guys want to see let me know message me you guys know how to do it all right thanks for watching guys